G'day guys and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in video game news and if you guys do end up enjoying today's video please remember to smack that like button real good and now let's jump into the first news report on today's show it has to do with Sony and the sales of the PS4. During Sony's quarterly financial briefing it was revealed that the sales of the PlayStation 4 console have dipped a little bit. Yoshida explained the strong momentum of the business continues and then he gave a general overview of the PlayStation VR also talking about the PlayStation 4 Pro and he stated sales of the PlayStation VR which was launched in October are on track Furthermore, this month we plan to launch the PS4 Pro, a high value added model. And one of the big talking points was because of the VR coming out and also because of the PlayStation 4 Pro and mainly the PlayStation 4 Pro, it made the regular PlayStation consoles drop. What I mean by that is the regular PS4 or the PS4 new slim model didn't sell as well as they expected due to the PlayStation 4 Pro being in the works and also coming out in a very soon or short amount of time. So yeah, this caused a little bit of an interesting thing at the investor call because some investors had no idea as to exactly why the sales weren't doing that well but it all really does make sense when you think about it because a lot of people have backed off that we're going to buy a PS4 console and gone hey wait I'll wait a little bit and get a more powerful pro version of it. So all in all for investors this kind of sucks but it could pick up thanks to the PSVR selling out and also the PlayStation 4 Pro in well, it's just a few days away from now, so yeah. Let me know your thoughts on all that and everything down below in the description. But now we move on to our next news report on today's show. And it has to do with something that's happening this weekend. Because as I told you guys already, I will be at PAX Australia. As you can see right there, I'm at PAX. But the big thing on top of PAX is that Omen are giving away a PC worth like $7,000 or something crazy like that. So make sure that if you do go over to PAX in Melbourne, in this weekend check out the omen booth i will be there for a little bit so make sure to check that out but you can also win yourself a pc so yeah if you want to know more about that links are in the description but anyway now moving on to our next news report on today's show and it's that an insider has revealed that the nintendo switch has four gigs of ram and 32 gigs of internal storage this is coming from emily rogers who is a very well-known insider but then again i'm not too sure if we should take this as full confirmation just yet. Personally, I'm actually happy with the amount of RAM that is in this system. The internal storage is a little, uh, because the thing is, you could get a whole lot more in today's technology. Like, it just doesn't make sense why it couldn't be higher. But then again, I'm not complaining because I doubt that I'll even pick one of these consoles up because it's just not made for the person that I am. I'm not that type of gamer. But then again, some of you guys might be. So yeah, again, as I stated, four gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. If you wanna know more about that, you can read more about it, links in the description. But now to our final news report on today's show, and it's that many people are blaming EA due to the Titanfall 2 sales being very, 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 very low. From the get-go, a lot of people were skeptical with EA even bringing out this game at this very time, because the thing is, it was launched between Battlefield and Call of Duty, and it's a shooter. It's a first-person console shooter primarily, so, that right there is a bad decision from the, like from a business standpoint. Now this has actually caused a huge stir online because the thing is this could be a very very good game if it came out in like March. It would actually have a player base. I know a lot of people especially on the PC are complaining that they can't find matches. And for a AAA sort of title it just seems ridiculous. So yeah I will keep you guys up to date on this but a lot of people are complaining about it but yeah right now EA are kind of being tight lipped but they are starting to speak so I will definitely keep you guys up to date if more information regarding this does come out but then again it's kind of a stupid thing because they shouldn't have released the game at this time just ridiculous anyway let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below but speaking of the comments down below it's time for the Griller Man question thanks Griller Man okay guys and the question is what game have you been playing most in 2016 and why so get credit for the answer put it down below in the comment section and you can end up on the next show but if you enjoyed today's video please remember to smack the like button because I'm Champ Chong Max Australian here this is Griller Man's question